What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be working through how to cut a round pixie haircut. I'm very excited to bring you guys this full technique. So to start off the sectioning, I take a uh, parting straight down the center. I go all the way down center back to the nape. And then I create two curved line sections right on the top, following that parietal ridge, really following the round of the head. And I clip those two sections forward separately, and we're gonna cut into those later. Now the next section comes off a pivot point right in that back crown area down to behind the ear. That's another curved line. I clip that section away, do the same thing on the right side and clip that one away as well. And that's the basic sectioning of this entire cut. So just making sure I keep everything nice and clean and organized. And we're gonna work our way through each of those sections uh, as we go. All right, so now we're gonna start straight down center back, draw a vertical line separate those two into two different halves. And then I'm gonna start working diagonal forward and just keep working with the head shape. So you'll see nice small sections. Make sure you keep those sections small because the larger the section, the more you'll tend to get lost and the more over direction you create within the cut. So small sections straight out from the head. Then I take another slight diagonal forward parting. That's also going to come straight out from the head. This is going to be a traveling guide. We're cutting a round shape. So my fingers must travel with the head shape as I go. That's what creates those round lines in a horizontal plane. So just working through. Now also look at my finger angle. It's basically straight out from the head. We're not building up a ton of weight in the back. I want it to be a nice seamless feel. So we're coming about 90 degrees straight out from the head as we work. That 90 degrees will turn into a lower elevation as we work up the head shape. So we'll start to build a weight line. You can see kind of that tip of my fingers there where my, uh, my finger is further away from the head. So we're creating extra length towards the top but then still keeping it that 90 degrees as we work our way down. So now I'm gonna continue working through this side all the way through this panel, bringing everything out straight out to me, traveling guide, working all the way through, let's go. All right, so now we're gonna move into panel number two. One thing I want you guys to really focus on is how low the elevation is towards the tip of my finger. Look at that elevation. Uh, that hair is actually coming out of the high point of the head or the midpoint of the crown. Um, so it's much lower than the rest of these sections. So you can see that natural shape starting to build, that natural weight line working through it. I think this is one of the key things about this haircut. So bring everything out to your body, Everything stays in a uh, traveling guide and you just cut it all the way through to the temple area. Uh, that's how we're gonna work. So we'll do that real quick and then we're gonna move to the opposite side. All right, so now as I work into the right-hand side, nothing's really gonna change as I cut through this. The only difference is my fingers are now gonna be pointing down. The reason for that is it's a comfort thing for me, consistency. We're working with a diagonal forward parting, so I want to make sure that my body position, I can be in the most comfortable state as I cut, that'll keep me consistent. So for me, comfort equals consistency. So as I work through the haircut, that's what I want to do. So we're gonna work through this right side all the way through traveling guide, same thing. Uh, and then we'll start on the top.
All right, so now that we've finished up the right-hand side, now I'm just gonna go through and cross-check. So just really bringing everything diagonal back as opposed to diagonal forward, which is how I cut it in the first place. So anytime you wanna cross-check something, just do it the opposite. Cut it horizontal, check it vertical. If you cut it diagonal back, check it diagonal forward, you know, so on and so forth. So go through, cross-check, everything looks good. Now we're gonna work into the top of the haircut. So I comb everything forward uh, towards me, and then I'm gonna give it a little saturation and then we're gonna start working the top. I'm gonna to take a center parting all the way through, and then we're gonna be cutting a nice rounded uh, 90 degree layer throughout the top with over direction straight back towards me. So you'll see that. So as I work through, I take a vertical section on both sides, comb that forward, and then I start by bringing one side up, connecting it to the previously cut section, and I start to round off those layers, bringing everything straight up, uh, towards me. This is going to be now a uh, stationary guide that I'm creating. So I followed the round of the head all the way uh, around to the opposite side, connect it to what I cut previously there. So now we've got a perfectly 90 degree layer all the way through. That's our uh, stationary guide. And I'm going to bring everything back to that point all the way through the top of this cut. What that's going to do is push maximum weight to the front, but give me a nice uh, rounded layered effect uh, throughout the top. And then we're going to go in and we're actually going to do some dry cutting to detail and take away that length that we pushed to the front uh, in the end result. So pretty fun technique. I hope you guys enjoy watching this part and then we'll get back to it as we get it dry. All right guys, so check out all that length that we pushed forward, but all the layers that you see on the top. So that's what I really wanted to create. Now I'm gonna go through and do a slide cutting technique to take away the extra length that we pushed to the front to also skinny up the edges so that when I go in and do my detailed line, it's much easier to cut. So you don't wanna cut super thick hair and try to cut your blunt lines, soften those edges first. So just slide cutting through, half closing of the scissor, sliding it down, working it through, taking away that length just little by little and really etching in my total shape. Look at those layers pop already. So now little point cutting, lifting. Uh, this is not what the end result will look like. I'm just softening those edges first and then I'll show you guys how we do that end result. All right guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going in that top section where we did that stationary guide. I just wanna soften it a little bit with some vertical point cutting. So I lift the hair straight up, go in with a, with a point cutting technique, not to disturb the line, but just to soften it. And I do that all the way through the top. And then when I get to the front fringe area, I do the same thing. That just softens that a little bit more so that when we move into this next part, uh, when we're cutting this blunt line, like you see here, it makes it easy because that that hair, the density of the hair on the ends is nice and light. So that is a benefit that comes from that slide cutting, the point cutting, all of the techniques that we did in that, that's very, very helpful in that situation. Now we're gonna go through and create the hairline. So the whole outer perimeter of this cut, this is an artistic uh, side of you guys that you can do whatever you want with this cut. So for me, I wanted to create this round shape that kind of hugs the cheekbone a little bit, goes down into that temple area and kind of showcases what the hairline really looks like. Uh, I just think it's flattering for this round shape that we've created. So now we'll do the same thing on the opposite side, working through. You can see nice hard line in the fringe, but a nice textured cut. Can't wait to show you guys how this looks when we start adding some product in there.
notice how I'm doing it little by little. I'm not going in and trying to take out a ton of hair at, the, at once. I'm not rushing this. Um, this is a cut that you want to spend time on. You want to detail each edge. You want to just use the tip of the scissor. You don't want to push a lot of weight. Uh, just really take your time and enjoy this process. Little tease cutting, you guys know. If you've been following me for a long time, you know I love tease cutting, half open, half closed. Look it up, search it on our channel. You'll learn how to do it. Uh, and then a little bit of a texture scissor sliding through um, to finish off our end result. You can see pop of texture, love it. A uh, nice crisp edge to the haircut. You know, this haircut might not be for everybody, but for me, this is one of my favorite cuts I've probably done in a long time. So hope you guys enjoyed this cut. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, and like this video if you can. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. By the way, guys, freesaloneducation.com is powered by my friends at Minerva Beauty. If you're looking to upgrade your salon furniture or equipment, they're the best in the business. Uh, they've been supporting free salon education for a long time, so go give them some support. Uh, check out minervabeauty.com and at Minerva Beauty on Instagram.